Hi, this is Ftah Mohammed. I'm a Rokan High School teacher of English. For today's session, it starts from these two examples. For example, number one, we have your friend becomes fat and he doesn't know what to do. And for example, number two, we have your friend wants to stop smoking, but he doesn't know what to do as well. So for example, number one, your friend is fed up with his weight because he is obese or he is fat and he wants to ask other people for something to be done in order to solve this problem and to lose weight. For example, number two is the same. Your friend is fed up with his addiction to smoking and he wants to ask other people for something good to be done to solve this problem and quit this bad habit. But the question here is how can your friend ask other people for something to be done? And when you say ask other people for something good to be done, this is what is called asking other people for advice. So here the question is how can I ask for advice? Asking for advice. So asking for advice or seeking advice. There are certain questions to be used. For example, we have, what can I do? I can say, what can I do in general? Or to be specific, we say, what can I do to lose weight? What can I do to stop smoking? And so on. Or what do you what do you advise me to do? What do you advise me to do? Or what do you think I should do? And of course there are other expressions to be used but at least you should know these questions if you want to ask for advice. What can I do? What do you advise me to do? Or what do you think I should do? And of course we have other expressions. What comes next? Suppose that my friend asks me, what can I do to lose weight? So how can I answer in this case? Or what do you advise me to do to stop smoking. In this case, it is what is called expressing advice. So for expressing advice, there are two possibilities. I have the choice to use common expressions. Okay. There are certain specific common expressions used by people when they want to express advice. Or, we have models. There are specific models as well used to express advice. Let's start with the common expressions and let's start with the first example. What can I do to lose weight? For example, say, I advise you to, okay, I advise you to play sport. Or if I were you, I would play sport. They have the same meaning. Or it is preferable, it is advisable. So we use a certain adjective to express that you are going to talk about something good or you are going to give solution and things like this, a piece of advice and so on. So it is advisable. So we can say it is advisable. It is advisable to, 
and we say play sport. I advise you to play sport. If I were you, I would play sport or it is advisable to play sport. I can say it is advisable or it is preferable or it is useful or it is better and so on. So we have different expressions. But at least you should know these ones. For models, we say you, um, okay, let's use these, uh, for you, and we have three common models, for we say you should, or you had better, okay, or you ought to. So you can use one of them, you should, had better, or two. Suppose we are talking about case number two. Your friend wants to stop smoking. So you say, you should, or you had better, or you ought to visit a doctor. Visit a doctor. You should visit a doctor. Or, you had better visit a doctor, or you ought to visit a doctor. So, as a conclusion, whenever I want to express advice, or whenever I want to ask first for advice, so I can use this form of questions. What can I do? What do you, th do you advise me to do? Or to be more specific and to say, what am I asking for? Or, what do you think I should do. For expressing advice I have the choice. I can use common expressions or I can use models. Just bear in mind that when you put models should have better or to, they are followed by verb in their infinity. This means the verb without to. Okay? Uh, should visit, should go, should come and so on. So you put the verb without to. That's it for advice. For better understanding let's move to other examples. Right, so for examples, we have a list of examples. Let's discuss one by one. Your friend feels tired and depressed in his work. So, what is your advice for your friend in this case? For example, you should, using model, you should take a rest, as an example. You should take a rest. For the next, your, your friend will travel to America. Suppose that your friend is going to travel to America, so what is your advice for your friend? In this case, so we can say, for example, you ought to, you ought to learn English before going to America. Okay, you ought to learn English before going to America because when you learn the language, so you become able to communicate with people. For the next, your friend wants to be a good speaker of English. So what is your advice for your friend? So we have, you had better. So in example number one, we used should. Example number two, we used of two. Here we have had better. You had better listen to foreign channels, TV channels. Right, so this is a piece of advice. You had better listen to foreign TV channels to train your ease in terms of listening and as well for pronunciation of the words and so on. Your friend eats fast food too much. So what is your advice for your friend? I advise you to eat, for example, healthy food. 
I advise you to eat healthy food like fruits, vegetables, and fish. So here we use I advise you to. Next, your friend can't speak in front of the audience. So what is your advice? If I were you, okay, if I were you, I would have training. If I were you, I would have training. Training with myself in front of the mirror or training with my friends and so on. So this is how we can catch up with this problem of talking in front of the audience. And of course, it's just an example. Pollution threatens our life on Earth. So, for example, it is advisable, it is advisable to plant trees. It is advisable to plant trees because trees, they are oxygen providers. So when we plant trees, so we reduce the uh, smoke or the black smoke and then we can really reduce the outcomes or the negative influence of pollution. So it is advisable to plant trees. Generally speaking, here we use different, ex different expressions. So we use models, should, we have ought to, we have had better, and here we use common expressions, I advise you to, if I were you, I would, or it is advisable to, okay? So that's it. That's all in terms of how to ask for advice or seeking advice and also how to express your advice by using these expressions, these common expressions or these models. That's it. See you then.